М1 Global presents. Уважаемые поклонники смешанных боевых единоборств, представляем вашему вниманию трехраундовый бой в легком весе. В синем углу Рейджа спортсмен представляет Республику Ингушетия. Приветствуйте, Али! From Republic of Ingushetia, Russia, Alik Albagachiev. Perfect 3 0 thus far in his pro MMA career. Two of those three wins by way of first round submission. Albagachiev said that he wants to be very aggressive from the opening of this fight and get this bout to the ground as quickly as possible. Спортсмен в красном углу Риджа представляет Республику Татарстан, клуб Дивизион. Приветствуйте, Руслан Хисамудинов! From here in Republic of Tatarstan, Russia, Ruslan Hisamutinov. Four and three is his pro MMA record as he enters this bout this evening. Hisamutinov's last five fights have ended in the first round, of which he has won three. Hisamutinov in our fighter interview yesterday talked about wanting a quick start, exactly what Al Bagachi have told me in his fighter interview yesterday. Hisamutinov also said he needed victory for him is heavy pressure throughout the bout. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 challenge bout in the lightweight division. Now let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 27 years old. He weighed in at 70 kilograms. He stands 180 centimeters tall and has an unbeaten professional record of three wins and no losses. 
representing the Republic of Ingushetia, Alec Alva Gashiev. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 23 years old. He weighed in at 69.9 kilograms. He stands 178 centimeters tall and has a professional record of four wins with three losses. Represent the division team from the Republic of Tartazan, Ruslan Hizmutinov. <laughs> and the referee of this bout, Vazislav Kishilov. Я так внимательно. Правила помним, не нарушаем. Работаем три раунда по пять минут. Внимательно слушаем мои команды. Беремся активно, честно. Руки пожали. Поглав. In the lightweight division, Ali Kalbagatia of Ingushetia, Russia versus Ruslan Hissamutinov of Tartarstan, Russia. Судья, судья, судья. Время. Готов. Готов. Бой. Gong in round number one. White trunks, black trim for Al Bagachev. Black trunks, white trim for Hissamutinov. Al Bagachev starts off with a nice, tight, strong low kick. Hissamutinov trying to work off of the jab from the right-handed stance. It's high and tight. Much lower Again. striking guard for Al Bagachev throws the outside kick. Yeah, that's twice in a row. Strong kicks as well. This crowd here in Kazan, Republic of Tartarstan, immediately behind the home fighter, Hissamutinov. Three kicks in a row. Hissamutinov now goes in for the double, gets it. Beautiful power double into the guard. He hit it hard, he hit it clean machine. Half butterfly guard held by Hissamutinov. Abogachev trying to go to work with his top game. Now open guard of Hissamutinov. Holds the body lock from the bottom. Right hand to the rib cage from Albagachev. Albagachev doing really well to spoil it, but looks like he's gonna. Oh, I thought he was gonna pass the guard. It was wide open. This Amutinov looked like he was gonna step through. Needs to keep his hands on the inside. Here's Amutinov. When your hands are on the out, that's a little bit better. Control in the head. That's big shots. That's better punches now. When your hands are on the inside, you've got more clean ground and pound. Your hands are on the outside, you can get your arms wrapped up, you can get sweeped, you can get submitted. But a lot better now. Short, clean strikes being landed by Alik Albagachev. Albagachev, wrist control, looked like he was going to try for a, a triangle. There we go, we tried and he got it. He's got high up. in the He's triangle. He needs to get that foot underneath the knee. Now going for the arm bar. Belly oh, down. Oh, just. And lost it on the scramble. Wow, nice scramble though. Hissamudinov, he realized he was in danger. He needs to push that leg through for mount position. Abogachev nearly achieving full mount. Quite happy to go to half guard. You could see Abogachev was looking for that triangle and he got it. I thought Abogachev was going to try to power bomb his way out of the triangle, but then Hissamudinov transitioned to the belly down armbar. 2.30, now remaining round number one. Big stunning right hand to the body from Albagaccia. Oh, big right hand. Now's the armbar attempt. The arm is free. Goes to the triangle. Samutinov again fishing for the triangle. Very active from the bottom with his legs. Albagaccia very active from the top with his punches. Again with that triangle attempt. He's going to switch to an arm bar now. He's holding onto the arm, but he takes punishment for doing it. Those right hands getting through the left just misses the mark. It's a body lock again from the bottom from Hissamutinov. Sheen, those are big short punches that are oh, landing. Oh, big, big, big. Guillotine attempt, he needs to pull guard. He's got, oh, he left go! He's looking oh, for... Try to pull guard. And he slipped the head out. Now Hissamutinov get top position. And now giving Gets his the back, back is Albogachiev. Complete reversal here in round one. Half Nelson hooked by Hissamutinov, looking for the rear naked choke. 
Bring the sit up and back mount. He's gonna try for the choke, he's lifting the head up. Pulling the forehead to try and lift the chin. You see how Bogacev reaching oh, he's through. He's got it, he's got it! He just needs to lock it up. Oh, his head has come out. Abogachev was reaching under, trying to clear the ankles and left his neck exposed, couldn't hand fight. Hissamutinov again looking for the rear naked choke. Hissamutinov needs to go palm to palm. If you can't get the rear naked choke when the hand is on your bicep, you're best off sliding palm to palm. Oh my! Turned right back from Malik the triangle Abogachev. again. Hissamutinov has just been pulling submission after submission from the bottom. Now he gets a triangle. The triangle needs to be pulled tighter. Again, he slipped out. The triangle was never locked. Furious pace to this opening round of this lightweight bout. He falls back for the heel hook. Needs to turn to the other side. Needs to spin around. It's very hard to apply the heel hook when the foot is on the canvas. Final stage That's is better. now round That's number better. one. He's in a better position now. Now back to the canvas. Lost the heel Great hook scramble. on the scramble. Oh, that is the end of a wow. furious round one. Relentless pace from both men in round number one. Abogachev hitting that takedown. Heavy with his strikes on top. The fighters throwing up submission attempts. That was the armbar from the triangle. Reminder that we're online, m1global.tv. Fighter bios, videos, our 2017 schedule and more. I spilled in the corner. Ruslan Hissamutinov, that's the slight delay. Yevtislav Kisilov, our ref Russian referee, now starts round number two. This Kazan crowd starts immediately back in in support of Ruslan Hissamutinov. Well, Hissamutinov had great success on his back. The submission attempts that he was pulling off triangle and arm bars. Tentative outside kick from Albogachiev. Well, Albogachiev, when he first started the fight, those kicks were solid. Some people think when they throw kicks like that and their opponent doesn't react to them, that they are not working. Believe you and me, you hit that thigh properly with the shin, it's going to hurt them. Much okay. more measured pace yeah, to the start of round two. Just, you just took the words out of my mouth, John. It was full volume in round number one from both men. Now maybe a quarter volume. Crowd growing very restless. Oh, swing and a miss. Standing on the right hand, Hissamutinov. Nothing there. Three oh, forty nice remaining right round two. Abogachev was the first to connect. Well, a very tentative second round. Referee even called his action. There's a chant now for the Ingushetian fighter Alik Albagachia here in the Republic of Tatarstan. By and large, this is a pro Ruslan Hissamutinov crowd. Supporters of both fighters growing restless, though, here in round number two. Nearly a kick on the cup. You saw the sportsmanship from both, and we fight on without time being called. Big swing and a miss from Ruslan Hissamutinov at the left hand. 
Right hand from Albagaccia, another overhand right. Yeah, someone needs to initiate the forward pace here. Blue corner is Albagacievs. Red corner is Hissamutinovs. Jump switch knee, nothing there. Uh, you've got to draw him in to do that. Right hand to the body from Malik Albagacievs. Nothing there. That was a little bit better. Nice right hand. The score machine, this is an extremely difficult round to score. Well, I mean, it's understandable that they're going to be winded a little bit from round one, but they are professionals. They should be pushing the pace still in round two. Kick on the ankle from Hissamukhtarov. Yeah, the round two is uh, a little bit lighter than a spar, I think. Fighters were sparring like this in your gym, I think you would be yelling at them. <laughs> <She crossed. laughs> Don't get me wrong, we do have days where we go light, but these are, they're not even engaging. Oh, both guys seem to drop their head at the same time. Bogacci have initiated that takedown. Working to get it, now transitioning to the single, going high crotch and he hits it. Yeah, he gets it, but... You can see Hissamutinov grabbing the ropes, could not prevent a takedown. 60 seconds remaining round number two. Well, Abogachev, you've got to give him credit. He was the one who initiated the first onslaught with a minute left to go. And that's all it maybe took to get this second round points difference. Half butterfly guard now. Close guard from Ruslan Hissamutinov. Hissamutinov going for the Kimura. Trying to pull it out with one hand. So difficult to sweep, get it Beautiful work. Nicely done on this, Kimura sweep from the bottom, now trying to take the back. Out the back door, done well, great reversal. How about Gachia felt it? Triangle again. Now he's been doing really well with the triangle attempt, he just hasn't been able to lock it underneath the knee. For those that don't know, the ankle has to go underneath the knee for it to be locked up tight. It's nearly there, it's still not quite. And when it's not quite, that's what happens, you get thrown off. Get the trimmed. legs become open. He's tried for the arm bar, but he's turned. And when he turns, it draws the elbow the opposite way, so you can't apply the arm bar. Transition to the belly down arm bar, and that's the end of round two. Very tentative from both men in round number two. That was a solid right hand though from Ruslan Histamutinov. That was the transition. First it was belly down and then onto the hip on the arm bar after the failed triangle attempt. Machine, as you talked about, the triangle was never locked on. I mean, I have seen people tap on the triangle, hasn't been right underneath the knee, but... You know, especially these, these guys, they, they're not going to tap to something that's only half on, it's got to be full on. And I think some of these guys would rather sleep than to tap, to be honest. Third and final round upcoming of this lightweight fight. Alik so, Albagachiev versus Ruslan Histamutinov. Histamutinov puts in his mouthpiece. Round three. Well, let's see what's left in the gas tank, Sean. Sometimes all it takes is for one fighter to think he had a bad round. And it could bring him back to life here in the third. Round three starting just like round number two. Very tentative, very controlled from both men. You saw the outside kick there from Albagachiev. Faint by Hissamutinov. 
Nothing on that right hand from Albagachev, then lands the left, turned yeah, it over. Nice, nice counter, but still, there's no venom in those shots. Nothing in that outside kick from Malik Albagachev. One minute gone, round number three, third and final round. Outside kick a little harder on the knee. Nice and low as well. Left hand from Ruslan Hissamutinov. Gachev now targeting the body with the left hand. A lot of feints, a lot of fakes, not enough action. But here's Amutnov is coming more forward. Machine fighters so often talk to us about starting slow and then turning up the volume. I think the complete opposite has happened in this fight. Nice kill ball, he's got it. Nicely done. Hands under the hips high. And Abagachev hits the takedown. Half butterfly guard again from Hissamutinov. Well, let's see if Hissamutinov tries another triangle from here. He's attempted it about four times, but never been able to quite lock it up. And we'll go for that sweep again. Looking for the Kimura to hit the Kimura sweep. That's the good thing about going for the Kimura. If you don't lock it up, you can sweep with it. If you do lock it up, you've got a submission. It was one of the nicer moments of this fight. The vast majority of offense from both men occurred though There's around the, the goal line. He needs to lock it up again. He's got the leg on the wrong side and needs to put it over the top of the leg. Underneath right now. See the ankles crossed. Absolutely no danger thus far. Now it's over the top. Now he has to pull it in. Short hammer fist from Abogachev. Isamutinov still fishing for that triangle. Still nothing he's, there. The problem is he's, he's trying to put there. That's better. That's, that's tighter. Oh, he goes for the arm ball again. Why did he move? The triangle was tight. Third time he's done that machine. Triangle to the belly down arm bar attempt. I can understand why he went the second time, the first time and the second time, because the triangle wasn't locked up. That's the first time he seemed to have it slipped under the knee, and he still left go of it. The chant of Ali. Favor of Albagachiev. Body head with the right hand from Malik Albagachiev. Just not much on those shots though from the top. Not much on the shots, Sean, but he's got him in a position where he will win the round if he stays like this. Open guard from half butter fly for Ruslan hit the mut hit the Mutinov. 15th and final minute of this fight. Yeah, he's just doing enough for the referee to keep him there. Maybe not powerful shots from the guard, but enough action for the referee to keep him down on the canvas. Vyacheslav Kisilev watching closely, but definitely seeing enough action to allow Bogachev to hold this fight on the ground in top position. 30 seconds now remaining in this fight. Yeah, here's Samoutin, I've got wrist control again. Will he push it through? No, let go. Bogachev keeping his head tight, trying to avoid that triangle attempt. Well, he's got to hold it for 15 seconds. Forehead on chest now from Malik al -Bogachiev. Right hand to the body. High close guard attempt from Hissamutinov. Final seconds now. There's the goal, and that's the end of this lightweight well, battle. a good, strong round. Albagachiev finished in a dominant position, but was he dominant enough in rounds one and two? I'm about to find out. Both fighters with a look of disappointment on their respective faces at the end of this fight.
Very odd tempo to this fight. Furious action between Alik Albagachiev, Ruslan Hissamutinov in round number one. They're slowing down considerably in round two. A bit more action in round number three than in round number two, but neither round coming close to matching the intensity, the furious pace that we saw in round one. Let's go to Ian, the machine Freeman, to learn the winner. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for a majority decision in favor of your winner, Alec Albegetjev! A majority decision? So two of the three M1 judges scoring ringside, giving it to Alik Albagachiev. The third seeing it even. And with that, Alik Albagachiev, without, without some serious difficulty, advancing his pro MMA record now to 4-0. and oh. A great first round. Somewhat forgettable rounds two and three, but certainly in round number three, Abagachev doing enough to the end of the fight with his top game. Certainly by holding positional dominance. The winner, by way of majority decision, Alik Abagachev defeats Ruslan Isamutinov.